Hey Collective, how are you guys? I hope you guys are doing really well. Getting ready to start your reading. Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Alright, uh, this will be a general reading as always for the Collective, okay? Very general, so please only take what resonates and leave the rest. And thank you guys as always for being here, okay? Thank you for your support. Alright, the Hermits. Alright, take that a lot with you guys. <laughs> Let's see, in the moon. Spirit for the collective, please. Clan Sagittarius just had that in their bonus reading. When you use the cleanse, cleanse your space, clear some things out, maybe of your house, maybe clear some people out as well. Genesis, okay. Lineal truth. Something is definitely coming up. Let me get one of these for you guys. Meditate. Yeah. Okay. Hello. <laughs> then I see knowledge on the bottom too. And I, I actually think that's what it's about. Okay. So let me take a look at the cards and see what we're working here hmm okay I think somebody needs I think the cleansing part has a lot to do with whoever this is it's in this dark night of the soul you definitely have somebody here whose reality is kind of collapsing around them this person may feel you see that we have the hermit card which makes total sense for a dark night of the soul right um, and the moon card, which tells me that somebody is spending some time alone. This is the lineal truth is about the in-between, right? In between the old, in between the new here, um, where there's just space, right? Somebody is getting to the truth of a matter here. You could have someone here that's either meditating or needing to meditate as well. This person definitely feels like there's been a lot of illusions around them you see the moon card they're just looking out at that that's full of illusions it could be full of intrigue as well even emotions regarding whatever the situation is ah okay i definitely feel like somebody's energy is very congested somebody is going through this And I don't think that they're handling it well. Okay, why are they not handling it well? Somebody's workload. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Let's back it up. Okay, so somebody's workload. So somebody might be spending time alone as much as they can. They could even work alone, to be honest. Maybe they work from home. But somebody is definitely spending a lot of time alone here. And they are trying to process, I feel like, everything that they're getting. This is a person that's elevating spiritually, or at least that is the plan. That's the source's plan. They're trying to elevate someone spiritually here. And they are recognizing what is going on here. But there's definitely a need to cleanse and ground the energy for whatever reason. So if this is you, um, make sure that you are doing that. And there's the various ways. By the way, everything can be Googled. Everything I say, <laughs> when I talk about cleansing your energy, when I talk about, you know, returning to center, anything that I say, you can obviously Google it. And there's lots of great answers you can find there. If it's about healing your energy, clearing your energy, chakra clearing, balancing, auric cleansing, all of that sound, all of that stuff can be found as well on YouTube. Okay. Um, and so you can maybe find your own way of doing things here. Somebody here is about to really step into a lot of knowledge. And I think that that is what they're wanting here. You see the book of knowledge there being open. It makes me feel like somebody could be reading. Um, maybe they're trying to meditate, something along those lines. Well, I see the mala beads around the, ha uh, around the hands here, the meditation. So uh, perhaps somebody is using crystal stones, something like that to help them as well. You know why I feel the cleansing has to do with somebody is not getting, 
so this may feel like it's not as fast as one would need because whatever they're doing, they're undergoing a lot of stress. That's what I feel. So something's either very taxing on the body or they're trying to do this while they're still in an environment that's really toxic. That's kind of what I feel. Okay. Maybe around people that are toxic. Maybe this is their job that is toxic. Maybe they live with a family that is toxic. It's definitely something, some level of toxicity. Um, that's creating blocks here. Okay, let's keep going. Interesting. All right, let's see what this is about, Spirit. Let's start. Actually, yeah, let me start here. I'm going to start with some tea leaves tonight. Let's see what they can tell me. Chain, chain of events that will affect your life. Yeah, I think that's already happening. If somebody's not already in this energy, they're about to be in it. But I feel like somebody's already in it. Tankers, celebration, fun, enjoyment. Okay. Chair feels someone new is entering your life. Okay, so maybe this is somebody that's cleansing, that's getting ready to come into your life in some way. Um, this could be some celebration, fun, enjoyment. This could be where you meet somebody perhaps, or maybe this is you coming out of this energy and this is going to be what you're going into. I definitely feel like there's a chain of events that's going on as the card says here, that's about to link two together. That's what I'm feeling here. It's going to be a time to actually celebrate, to really enjoy life here. For whoever this this new person is that's actually entering your life, taking up this extra chair, okay? Because someone here has been a hermit for a while. I definitely don't feel like you see this coming. I definitely think that this is going to be some kind of surprise for you. The chain of events could be several things. You could be traveling or you could meet somebody at a work event or something like that. The mule, someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Okay, so we have another energy here as well. Career. Okay, so maybe this is going to be focused around your career in some way. Maybe you're meeting someone too that takes your career to another height here. You know, this is interesting. Maybe this person, if this is the person, the mule that is unwilling, the stubborn mule, right? That's unwilling to change. Maybe that's why I was feeling so much discord within them and like they needed to cleanse something because maybe they're holding on to stuff. I said career, they could be in a family, something like that. It, maybe it's a mindset, honestly. It says they're unwilling to change, okay, because they're extremely stubborn. So maybe it is their mindset. Maybe they're being so rigid, and that's actually holding up their process here. This is a shame, actually. You're getting a gift. You know, this is definitely, this is a gift, okay? You definitely want to jump on it and become a little more enlightened. Your life's going to get so much better, all right, so, but somebody is not wanting to change something. And because of that, this transition that I feel like Spirit is trying to give them that they probably asked for on some level, okay, is not completely taking effect here because they won't allow it. They're continuing to block it in some way or something in their life definitely is here. Hmm, okay. Maybe they think this is the illusion, okay? Looking at the moon there, maybe they feel like, well, this isn't really... This isn't really, you know, what I think it is, especially if it's around a relationship or it could also just be about awakening, okay? Because when you start to awaken and you start to question everything, you start to think, okay, everything around me and the people, okay, is not really what I thought they were. And that can be quite startling for most minds here. Yeah, look at this. This is a stubborn, a stubborn, aggressive person yet again. And we see hidden secrets here can harm you. Hmm. All right, let's keep going here. Chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. So you have then went chair filled and chair empty. You have someone coming in. You have someone who is actually leaving. We do have a younger woman as well. Dylan's a relationship with a younger woman. I don't know if that is you or someone that could be coming in. This could also be someone here who is a stubborn, aggressive person as well. I almost want to say, and Sag actually just got this as well, some energy is definitely leaving. So if you've had somebody 
that has been very challenging to you, that has refused to leave someone who maybe has tried to harm you as a secret or hidden secrets can harm you um, in some way. Yeah, it looks like they might actually be leaving your life. I don't think this is someone coming in. I think this is someone leaving in your life. I think you have good things that are about to come into your life that's going to help you to take off in some way. And that might actually be around career for some of you. Hidden secrets can harm you. Older man, Dylan's a relationship with an older man. Maybe this involves some kind of older man here. Yeah. See, somebody, I feel like somebody has some kind of dissatisfaction in life. And they see that you're moving into a time of great celebration here. Maybe around your career. Maybe that you have someone brand new that's coming in to take a chair that maybe they want to occupy in here. Or that they wanted to occupy or maybe they felt like this should be them in some way. You might be very quiet about what you're doing to with lineal truth, right? You're kind of, again, you're in that void in between, right? The past and the present here. So you're probably not sharing a lot of stuff here, especially if that's you in hermit mode as well. You could just be meditating, spending time with source here. I think this has to do, and you're gaining a lot of knowledge, and you could also be sharing a lot of knowledge is what I feel. This could be two people. Definitely doesn't have to be. You could be one of the people. You could be the older man. You could be the younger woman here. Something is definitely, somebody doesn't like their life, and they don't like that you are getting these blessings. Again, like sad, just this is crazy, actually. So it's just kind of rolling over a little bit here. They know that you have good stuff that is coming in here, and they may have done some stuff here. Hidden secrets can harm you. Maybe they've done some stuff here. Maybe told your secrets or spread things about you or something like that to try and throw you off, but it didn't. Look at this. You can't make it up. Flute. Disappointment in a friend or a lover. So this could be one of your ex-friends. This could be one of your ex-lovers. Hmm. You know what it is? This person seems like they're completely shut out in some way. That's what I feel. They feel like they're shut out, not only from you. I don't even know if they know you. God only knows. But um, just from access to you and the fact that you don't share anything seems to really be hyping them up in a sense. I don't know how they know good things are coming in for you. If you do have a YouTube channel, there may be things that you share on there. Or if you do have a social media, maybe there's things that you share on there and they can see that. But you're not really going into anything super personal about your life. They don't like that. They don't like, maybe you used to share a lot of stuff with this person. It's got to be something because it feels very personal to me. Because what else would, would bring in such an invested interest, you know, in you and what you're doing and what you have going for you. And all right. Honestly, people are so crazy anymore. You could have just rubbed them the wrong way. <laughs> you could have said something and rubbed them the wrong way. Look at this. Appearing again, the hermit. You are definitely spending time alone, okay? People do not know what you're up to. They don't know what you're doing, but they think they know. They think you have something coming up. Maybe they feel like you're spending a lot of time focusing on your career as well. They definitely feel like you have something good that is happening for you. Hmm. What else for the collective spirit? What energy for the collective, please? King of Swords, you could be an air sign. Libra, uh, Gemini, Aquarius, jeez. Why is the blank? Yeah, look at that. Five of Wands here. King of Wands. Devil. Mm -hmm. Strength card. So we have Leo, Capricorn, Leo, um, any of the fire signs, I guess, um, Aries, Sag, Leo here. 
I don't know if this is, I guess Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and then I see some Virgo. You've got a lot going on in your energy, okay? A lot going on in your energy, and I think you're about to have some kind of crystal clear, I don't know, truth about it. Maybe some kind of breakthrough is coming through, okay? You definitely have a lot of eyes, I feel like, on you. You could have people competing for you, or maybe somebody feels like they need to compete for you. Maybe somebody doesn't like some kind of attention that you're getting to or that you're actually making them compete. Maybe somebody feels like they're in competition with you as well. Maybe that's what's kicking up some of the issues. I, I, somebody's definitely fallen on their face is what I feel. Hidden secrets can harm you. I think somebody could have tried some stuff like that, and it just didn't work out, okay? This could definitely be... Um, an ex-friend, an ex-lover, somebody that's definitely around you here. Yeah, they're feeling very competitive. They can know that somebody has their eyes on you as well. You you have one, two. I mean, you definitely have two, maybe three people that are around you right now or that are looking at you in some way. Somebody knows that somebody else is looking for you. And I think it's freaking them out quite a bit with the devil energy here. I definitely have somebody here that is very, very focused on you. There could be a bit of an obsession as well, trying to pull things together. This is interesting. This is almost like, because we, this is kind of a justice, right? The king of swords, somebody that's usually very just and balanced and they like to see things balanced and just, right? <laughs> So, and then I'm looking at, I don't know, I think you have someone here. I almost feel like somebody's pissed because, so you got this King of Wands energy. King of Wands are very attractive, number one, generally. They're very outgoing. They get tons of attention. Okay, so maybe this person is upset because you're not giving them any kind of attention here. Now, this is a king. If it's a queen, it's a queen, whatever. This is an energy, okay? This is definitely people that are in their masculine energy for sure. And maybe you are as well. Somebody wonders, I think somebody really wonders why they're, why are you not giving them the time of day here? What is your, what's your situation? You may have actually left a situation like this or just kind of shrugged it off in a sense and went into hermit mode, okay? One feels like they're very protective of you, and one kind of feels to me like they're like, what's your issue? I cannot believe that you're going to make me compete for you. Are you kidding me? Like, yeah, I almost feel like they're, although that King of Wands is definitely in the upright, which is a good sign, I still feel like it's almost like, why, why do I have to do this? Why do I need to compete? Or... Why are you throwing me in the middle of this? In fact, this person could have been holding back or something, just really obsessing. They are really obsessing over you is what I feel. And they might be doing things to kind of draw you in. The thing is that you have been able to tame some kind of beast here and you've received some kind of clarity as well. Okay, I think that, I don't know what this beast is for you. If you were having a, such a relationship here, um, maybe, and especially if it was sexual in nature, and maybe you've been able to get a hold of that, you're no longer entertaining that in some way. Could have also been because you've been doing a lot of meditation and obviously um, getting to know yourself again, okay? Loving yourself in a sense. Somebody is really heavily, this is like obsessive type vibes tonight. This isn't, I'm just focused. This is like really obsessive. They need to get you away from somebody else. Maybe this is the new person that's coming in to fill some kind of chair. Maybe they're already there. Hmm. Okay. Talk to me more about this person, Spirit. For the collective. Oh, we got an Empress in reverse. Yeah, this is... Okay, come on. Wow. Wow. We got the Empress and the Emperor in reverse. What the hell? What is happening here? We have the Four of Swords. Oh my gosh. Eight of Swords. You... <laughs> Justice. Oh, wow. This is definitely somebody that was trying to impact you negatively. I'm just going to tell you right now. Hang on one second. It's that stubborn person that could have been coming towards you. They were part of a duo is what it looks like to me. Could have been a mother and a father. Could have been a husband and a wife. I am shocked. Wow. 
We have the Empress in reverse, the Emperor in reverse. We have the Four of Swords. We have the Eight of Swords. We have Justice. Something definitely backfired. Definitely backfired on somebody here. I think you have, it's interesting that we had an older man and a younger woman that came out and just see, obviously get in where you fit in on this because I don't really know everybody's situation will be different. But whoever these stubborn, aggressive person or people is what it looks like to me. But maybe, I don't know, maybe you guys can relate with the Empress in Reverse or the Emperor. Whoever this was, regardless, I feel like it was part of a team. That's what I feel. I feel like it was part of a team here. Somebody was causing problems for another person. Hidden secrets can harm you, skull. Something you may have already gave up on or something that you put to bed here with school or something you thought was kind of dead and gone here. I think it's going to be coming back up, Collective. And I think you're about to find out something that is could be very unsettling. Maybe you already know, but I'm going to tell you, whoever did whatever to you, I'm going to tell you they're getting their justice. This, this is so clear. Oh, my God. Not only are they getting their justice, they're, they're very stuck in their heads. They're stuck in their life. They could be recovering here very sick from something that they did here. This is somebody definitely, the emperor in reverse, okay? This is definitely somebody who... Um, they abuse their power in the most unbelievable way. And then we have the Empress in reverse as well. This could somebody be somebody very smothering or very needy. Um, somebody who, neither one of these people are good in this energy. Let me just put it that way, okay? They're not good. Um, they could be heavily manipulative as well. Very controlling, wanting their way. I hope this is not your mother and father. This is, But it could be somebody's mother and father. And it could have been somebody that you were dealing with here. It's funny that this King of Swords, I talked about them being just and fair. This might be somebody, too, that has this information. Maybe that's why they're keeping such a close eye on you. Maybe this is an attorney or a judge or um, the law. You know, maybe it's somebody who, who knows something here. I'm going to tell you, I don't know what is coming down here or, or what has happened. I think you're about to find out. Maybe the law is in law because I see right here in this justice card you are definitely getting your justice in this situation. And this that is happening to him, them, I said him, could be a him, but I think it's a him and a her, is absolutely karma, okay? You got people feeling very sad, very regretful here, okay? And then because they know there is no chance in hell, all right, that you are going to take them. You're not even looking their way in any way, shape, or form because maybe you know what's, what's happened here. You know what's been done. And say if you were dealing with somebody and God forbid they had people around them that was doing this to you. I mean, maybe this person is in regret as well because they didn't speak up and they know that you're not looking to them. You're not, yeah, you're not looking to them. You're in complete apathy. You're not having anything to do with anyone. For you, this is dead and gone. This is a done deal and you're moving forward, right? Wow. Hmm, okay. Let me look a little more information. I think I'm going to use these cards today and just see if we can get a little bit more on that. This is crazy. Okay, so if this, if one of these are your people up here, this King of Swords, this, this uh, hopefully not the devil, but this King of Wands, King of Wands that is heavily, I feel like the King of Wands is actually heavily obsessing over you for whatever reason. Okay, so I don't really know what that is about. Maybe they had something to do with it. Maybe they were part of something, had something to do with it. Somebody here is definitely going through a dark night of the soul. And maybe it is this person that's getting all this clarity about what happened to you. This could definitely be a person that you're ignoring because you had to get out of this nasty energy. Okay. Somebody here has received some kind of clarity, some kind of breakthrough here. And I think it sent them into a very obsessive energy. Okay. But part of that obsessiveness has to do with, listen, you're going through this dark night. A lot of things are becoming clear to you, but you've got to clear your energy too. You have to clear your energy as well. Okay. Or it can get quite dark. All right. So spirit, what else can you tell me about this situation here? Idea, it's in reverse. Hang on, I can't even see what this says. 
Okay, ideas, what it says. Hmm. So this was actually in reverse. Interesting. Maybe this is somebody who doesn't have their own ideas. <laughs> Let's see. Calm. Maybe this person, maybe they're out of ideas, to be honest with you, because whatever they've done here, you seem very calm. You seem uh, meditative. You seem to be in your inner peace here. Wow, this could have been somebody here that was... Could have been a few friends here that was doing something to you here or a connection, like a network of people. Um, it could have been somebody that you knew from your network or some kind of connection you've had to somebody here. Yeah, these are definitely people that were being very deceptive. They were pretending um, to be something that they weren't. They wore a lot of masks in your life here. What did I say? I'm telling you, death. Okay. This actually came out in reverse, all right? So whatever they were trying to do to you, perhaps, um, maybe it was to end something in your life that didn't happen, obviously, um, or to cause you some kind of harm that clearly did not happen here. We got family here, and we also see backfired here. So here's the deal. I don't know if this was family members that you're no longer dealing with here. here. Maybe this is telling me that this is, Maybe this was some kind of extended family that you left behind. Um, maybe what I mean by that is maybe you were married into something and then you got divorced. You left something behind. Maybe it was something like that. Yeah, somebody's definitely having a lot of loss here. There could have actually been some kind of physical loss for somebody. Somebody could have lost a pet as well. All right, there's definitely somebody here that could be bereaving something. They could. They could be... They could also be thinking about the damage that has been done. Yeah, introvert here, privacy separate. See, that's what I'm saying. I think somebody was trying to, it's about an online community too. So are you in some kind of online community here where this person can see you, where they can see that you're calm, that you are supported in some way, shape, or form. This could have been somebody that was talking to you even online, maybe trying to befriend you, sending you emails, something like that. I don't really know what you're doing online, but um, something along those lines here. This is definitely somebody that's been trying to throw you off of your game here. I think this is somebody that doesn't like what you're doing online. If you are doing something, like say if you're like me and you're going online and doing this, Maybe they wanted you to stop that in some way. Maybe they wanted you to separate yourself. Or maybe they, they're too doing something like this. And I don't know. <laughs> they just didn't like what you did. I don't know. It's something like that. It definitely feels to me very competitive in a sense. Yeah, because they hate that you're so blessed here. They hate that you seem to be sitting in your enlightenment and your well-being in some way. Okay. And you just continue to be blessed here. Yeah. This person, and maybe this is the issue, you know, this paranoia that's coming back. I do feel like absolutely something has been sent back to somebody. Somebody could be actually heavily in a depression. Again, I'm going to go to the fact that maybe your light has really irritated some people's demons. I picked that up already as well. I think that was in Sage's reading as well. So, I mean, it could definitely be something about that. Yeah. See, look, here we have, there's the rites right there, the ceremony. Definitely somebody was playing in your energy here. They hate it that you are so optimistic all the time, okay, that you are able to create. This shows me that you visualize. Maybe you talk to people about that and you're able to kind of create, that you feel like you're creating your reality in some way. They hate that you're doing this because something about their life maybe just doesn't feel right or maybe they just don't like you. They just don't want to see you do well. I know that seems very silly, but I mean, obviously something's happening here. All right, this person could have done some kind of magic or something here to, um, well, obviously, to try and influence you in a negative way in some way here. Yeah, they've done something like that. This person's in a very, very low energy here. Very low. Yeah. Whatever they've done here, their plan is definitely backfiring is what this is showing me. Okay, whatever they did, I, I don't think that it was organized right or... They're just wondering why it's not working out. I definitely feel like something has certainly backfired here. And also, their ally, whoever they were, alliance, well, you can't make this shit up. Look at that. You got curse on the end. You know, whoever they thought was in their, um, you know, in their friends, you know, in their clique, whatever, they know now that they can't trust those people either. All right. They feel like things are just kind of breaking up. It looks like for them here. 
I'm wondering if this was also somebody here that you thought was a friend. I see a girl with a dog here. Maybe you thought that they were a friend to you. You know, maybe you you had to find out the hard way that you can't trust this person either. There's some kind of curse here, though. Something was meant to create some kind of catastrophe here, some kind of misfortune in your life, unfortunately. But what I'm seeing here is blessings, okay, coming through fulfillment, well-being, and also that you're very calm, that you found some kind of inner peace here, and you seem to have support maybe of a community that is around you here, okay? Meanwhile, somebody else is experiencing a boatload of loss here. And I think there might be something going on as well legally here because with the justice here, and it doesn't have to be, but it definitely shows me that things are balancing out. And maybe that's just because people are sick, people are stuck here, people are obviously in reverse here. They're sad, they're regretful here, and you're not paying any attention. You basically cut everybody off here and went into hermit mode. So it's a lose-lose, I feel like, for people that, that obviously tried to bring you some kind of distortions in your life or harm you in some way. How unfortunate, you know? But I think you're doing the right thing, collective. I mean, you got to you always take the high road, you know, keep your faith, but also keep your focus on spirit, right? Where it needs to be so that you can make sure that you're continuing in the right direction and just trust that things will be taken care of because they are. And if you know anything about source, anytime we want something, it will get delivered like, you know, 50 times better than what we could have imagined for ourselves. And it's the same way with, with, karma you know what i'm saying you don't have to worry about it anything that you could want like if you're saying send that back and you know i want it to happen this way i mean listen source knows how to take care of things i wouldn't really worry about stuff like that it shouldn't even consume your thoughts focus on the good and continue to create things that are good for you right all right so let me get an outcome for this particular reading here the star card beautiful the world card, yeah, you're really wrapping up something here. I feel like you could be known, though, or maybe you're going to be known. Whatever you're doing, you're getting some kind of recognition. You could be known kind of all over the world as well. Again, that could definitely be an online presence where you're talking to people everywhere. There's that justice card. Again, I'm telling you, this, with the justice and the world card together, sh things are being illuminated. Things are being brought home for you. All right. Maybe your justice is whatever they tried to slow down for you is about to become bigger as well. Yep. Stepping out into a new direction here. Um, yeah, I feel like, hang on, let's see. The hangman. After getting some kind of, yeah, yeah. Stepping out into a new direction here. I think you're going to know about this justice, whatever it is. I feel like you're going to know it. You're going to see it. You're going to hear about it. You might hear about it from this Knight of Swords energy up here. I feel like you're going out into a new direction as well after receiving, because you've been in this hangman position for quite a while. I feel like after receiving some kind of new perspective on what you need to do. Okay, so this is the obviously, you know, this person's hanging upside down. They probably look quite silly but they're actually garnering a lot of knowledge here, a lot of knowledge here, right? And intuition, right? Um, so they're going to be moving on that. And yes, you might be moving forward here as the wounded warrior, but regardless, you're quite resilient and you're moving forward, okay? Yeah, oh my God, look at this. You might be walking right into some kind of financial, new financial gains here. All right, you could be walking into um, some kind of new business that you're starting, not walking into, but you could be starting something. This is going to be big. Whatever you're doing is going to be big, okay? It could be getting you a lot of notoriety, um, but it's going to be very big is what I feel, bigger than you think it will. So you might be starting small, but I think it's going to get big and probably quite fast. It could very well uh, take off in a sense, okay? Yeah, I feel like with this, just remain vigilant, you know, just stay centered like you clearly have. Cleanse your, your space. I don't know who this is that is coming back in and trying to talk to you. You're going to have to deal with that when it comes in. But I know that you are on a very good road. I think it's going to be quite prosperous for you as well. Yeah, watch out for this. I see the devil here on the bottom. I would just watch out for that because whoever is in this energy... And I don't know, it could be personal. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter to me because it's still going to be an energy. It's still going to be negativity. And I just want you to stay focused on what it is that you're trying to bring into existence in your life, okay? And 
try to turn turn away from that and just protect yourself that's the best you can do and give it to god i'm telling you he'll take care of you every single time all right i'm going to get a few more cards here and let's wrap it up what else for the collective spirit create you're being asked to connect with your creative side in whatever way feels best. This part of you needs extra attention right now. It needs to be expressed in a bigger way. I'm telling you, you're getting ready to expand. You're getting ready to expand. This is amazing. All right, let's see. Give. One of the best feelings we can experience is giving to others. When we do so, we feel lifted up and our lives improve greatly because of someone else's happiness. Think of one way you can give to another today. And maybe that's something you're going to be focusing on as well in terms of your energy, giving back to other people, helping other people in some way. You got to believe. It says you're being asked to fully believe in yourself and your dreams. It's time for that ideal that's lived inside your heart to be brought into the world so others can benefit from it. This is beautiful. Okay, believe that you can bring it to life and you will do exactly that. See, you're you're definitely moving out of this energy, all right, where somebody has desperately tried to keep you stuck, it looks like, and moving into something really, really beautiful here. Continue to meditate. Continue to go within, obviously, and keep your energy cleansed here, okay? I do think you have somebody here in a dark night. You know, and maybe I was feeling that maybe that's these people here as well. Maybe they're being put through this right now as well, um, which is slowing them down. Because remember, I kept feeling like the energy was very stagnant in the beginning, all right? Maybe that, I mean, obviously, maybe they need to wake up, and that's what spirit is working with here. I'm not really sure, but you do have two people coming in, so you're going to have to use discernment with that. All right, guys, that is what I have for you. Hopefully, it will resonate. If it does, don't forget to hit the like button. I'll see you guys very soon. Have a good night. Bye.